about eating this? Yeah. I'll eat it. It's a lucky carrot. No, don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it. Admit it, you've eaten food that fell onto the floor or sushi that's been around for a few days. Well, if you're feeling even riskier when it comes to your food, then here are the 10 most dangerous foods people actually eat. They're dangerous, but I love their swagger. Star fruit. Too exotic? This one might come as a surprise for you. Starfruit, also known as carambola or Avrahoa starfruit, is a fruit native to Asia. The reason it's called a starfruit is pretty obvious. It's shaped like a star. The fruit ranges from a yellow to a greenish color, and the taste can be bitter or sweet, depending on how ripe it is. Starfruit is known for having many beneficial properties. It contains antioxidants, has been shown to prevent fat cell formation, reduce liver fat, and lower cholesterol. But but did you know that you can also get poisoned from starfruit? Studies have shown that eating starfruit can be harmful to those who have kidney disease. Linda, I can't do it anymore. To those with healthy kidneys, don't worry. The toxins will be flushed out of your system properly. But if your kidneys don't work properly, the toxins don't get flushed out, which can cause serious illness. Starfruit poisoning can lead to mental confusion, seizures, and even death in some cases. For those with bad kidneys, a mere 100 milliliters of starfruit juice can be enough to poison you. If you're worried about being susceptible to this poison, ask your doctor to check in on your kidneys. But if you're certain that your kidneys are in tip-top shape, chances are you'll be completely fine. It's all up to you. Bullfrog. I can taste him frog legs already. There are plenty of different kinds of bullfrogs all over the world, and they can even be kept as pets. Have you ever noticed how the French only eat frog legs and no other part? Well, there's a reason for that. It's because the rest of the frog, mainly the skin and organs, can contain plenty of dangerous toxins, enough to cause kidney failure. Despite the danger, the bullfrog is enjoyed as a celebratory dish in Namibia. You heard it right, not just the legs, the whole thing. The bullfrogs that are eaten are giant African bullfrogs, locally known as Ifuma or Omafuma. They're considered a delicacy, even though it comes with great risk. Oh, no, I'm worried. Very worried. One might argue that the risk is the reason why some people are curious about trying the dish in the first place. Thankfully, there are ways to prepare the frog in order to avoid kidney failure. To avoid being poisoned, people who eat bullfrogs are advised to wait after the mating season is done. This is because young bullfrogs who have not yet mated contain the most toxins. As they go through their life cycle, their toxins start to dwindle out, making it possible to eat them without getting poisoned. Just wait. Just wait. Fugu. But I should warn you that one... Come on, pal! Fugu me! In Japan, fugu, also known as puffer fish, is considered a delicacy. It's served into paper-thin slices by chefs who have had years of training and combines luxury with a rush of adrenaline. This is because the intestines, ovaries, and liver of fugu contain tetrodotoxin. This poison is 1,200 times deadlier than cyanide. It is said to be so potent that even a small amount, a drop the size of the head of a pin, is enough to kill 30 people. The risk of poisoning is so high that chefs have to go through two to three years of training in order to get a fugu preparing license. Concentrate. Concentrate. I want yeah! fugu! While there are a total of 120 species of puffer fish worldwide, these expert chefs can only prepare 40 kinds of fugu, and this dish can cost up to $200. The preparation of fugu is also so risky, it's banned across almost all of the United States and in the European Union. Thankfully, because of the expertise of fugu chefs, there are only 44 cases of fugu poisoning per year. Out of those who got poisoned, only an average of six people died from it. Considering Japan consumes nearly 10,000 tons of fugu every year, those odds aren't so bad, are they? We can beat the odds. Odds, schmods! 
ackee fruit. Ooh, that's a dangerous fruit. <laughs> it's like a weapon, I think. The ackee fruit is a part of the Sapindaceae soap berry family, just like lychee. The fruit itself grows on evergreen trees, meaning that it's available throughout the year. It's most abundant in Jamaica and West Africa, and it also goes by many names, including ackee, ackee, and ackee apple. The fruit is known to be rich, buttery, and delicious, and even though it's native to West Africa, it migrated to Jamaica in 1778. Now, the ackee fruit is the country's national fruit and is even part of Jamaica's national dish, ackee and saltfish. So you're probably wondering why this fruit is so deadly. This is the kind of thing people would like to know. Well, it's all about when you decide to eat it. Unripened ackee fruit contains hypoglycin, a toxin that can lead to what has been dubbed as Jamaican vomiting sickness, which leads to, yes, vomiting, but also potential coma and even death. To make sure the fruit is ripe, all you need to do is wait until the fruit's protective pods turn red and open naturally. Once the fruit has opened, make sure to only eat the yellow fruit, the stuff that surrounds the toxic black seed. So just know that if you manage to avoid poisoning yourself, the payoff is well worth it. These men did not die in vain. Raw kidney beans. Beans, beans, the tragical fruit. Kidney beans are great for stews and chilies, but did you know that you shouldn't eat them raw? This is because raw red kidney beans contain lectin, a natural protein that can be found in many plants, animals, and even humans. However, if consumed at high levels, lectin can act as a toxin. Lectins are often found in the seeds of legumes because it helps the legumes defend themselves against pests and pathogens. Unfortunately for humans, this means that only a few beans are needed to cause poisoning. Just one single drop. There are a few ways to prevent being poisoned by raw red kidney beans. Soak your beans in water for at least five hours, dump that water, and then boil them in clean water for at least 30 minutes. But if you don't have the time, boiling them for 10 minutes at 100 degrees Celsius has been found to destroy the toxin completely. Be careful when using a slow cooker as they don't get hot enough to destroy the toxins found in kidney beans. That's not enough. Hot dogs. You're kidding, right? There must be evidence, motives. There's nothing like stuffing your face with a delicious hot dog at a baseball game, a summer picnic, or even in the backyard of your own home. But how safe is it really, especially for children? Turns out, hot dogs have a body count. Did you know that they present a huge choking hazard for kids? According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, AAP, every five days, a child in the United States chokes to death while eating, and hot dogs are responsible for 17% of those deaths. Why? Because they're cylindrical, compressible, and about the size of a young child's airway. Now I really see what's going on here. Other things that pose a risk include whole grapes, popcorn, peanuts, marshmallows, carrots, apples, chewing gum, and so much more. The AAP suggests putting labels on these items to warn parents of the risk they pose. The Academy has even recommended that hot dogs be redesigned to make it less likely that they will get lodged in the throats of the young. How could you redesign hot dogs? Not sure, but it could be worth a try. If you're a worried parent, it's okay. Just be sure that you're prepared and be sure to cut up your hot dogs before giving them to your kids. Just be careful. How cart. Yeah, Just explain you, what that is. Explain what you think that is. Haukart is a traditional Icelandic dish that is known for its pungent smell and persistent aftertaste. It's often made with Greenland sharks, the world's longest living vertebrates. They can live up to 500 years, are often partially blind, can grow up to 24 feet long, oh, and their meat is poisonous. That hasn't stopped Icelanders, though. Eaten fresh, the meat of the Greenland shark can cause an uncomfortable intoxication. But the Vikings figured out that if you bury pieces of the shark under rocks and dirt for several weeks, the toxins in the meat become neutralized. Just need some alone time. Some people love it, others hate it. Unfortunately, the uric acid that is found in the Greenland shark makes it smell like ammonia, but people attest that it tastes like strong cheese, only with the unfortunate aftertaste of urine. 
It is widely agreed that chunks of Halkart should be washed down with a shot of Brennevin, Icelandic wine. So if you're planning on making this dish for the first time, to avoid poisoning, make sure to ferment your shark for a few months. And forget about ever talking to your neighbors again. That's nice. But I hate neighbors. Kasu Marzu. Kasu Marzu is illegal to import and export, which makes this a highly sought after product. Kasu Marzu can be found in Sardinia, Italy, and it's notorious around the globe. The reason this cheese is so dangerous is due to the flies that lay their eggs in the cracks around the cheese. Once the eggs hatch, maggots crawl through the paste, eating and digesting the proteins within it, which makes the cheese soft and creamy. This dish truly isn't for everyone, because once it gets cracked open, the maggots in the cheese begin to wriggle, sometimes even jumping out of their home. Some people dislike the sight so much that they put the cheese through a centrifuge, combining maggots and cheese into one edible delicacy. Those are crazy people. <laughs> Others, though, prefer it as is and eat everything, grubs and cheese. If they're still alive by the time they make it into your stomach, people have speculated that they could cause micro perforations in your intestine, leading to nausea and extreme stomach cramps. However, no such case has ever been linked to the consumption of Kasu Marzu, so if you're ever faced with the opportunity of having it, know that your chances of dying are probably pretty low. Thus, you never really know. You never know if you never try, you never try if you never know, you know? <laughs> Sanatji. Octopus. Sanakji, also known as the wriggling octopus, is a traditional Korean dish that is made with the long arm octopus. This entree is most commonly found in Seoul, though it can also be found in places such as New York and LA. Even though the dish features a freshly killed octopus, it's not completely dead, it's still moving. You heard right, the octopus is killed right before it's served, meaning that its nerves still have some fight in them. People describe the flavor as very mild, but it's the texture that attracts people to it. Slimy and chewy. Yum, just how we like them. Yummy! Traditionally, the legs are served with sesame oil and seeds, but red chili paste can also be added for an extra kick if wriggling tentacles aren't enough for you. It goes without saying that the danger of eating this dish is choking. Approximately six people die each year by choking on these tentacles, probably because those suction cups will do anything to cling to something. So when you eat this dish, be very, very careful. Make sure you chew as much as you can without breaking your jaw, or else else you could be setting yourself up for an embarrassing death. They're embarrassing me. They're embarrassing America. Blood clams. Oysters, clams, and cockles! Clams are a delicacy that have been around for centuries. Once humans discovered the tastiness and convenience of clams, there was no going back. However, there's one clam in particular that comes with more risk than others. The blood clam is cultivated in the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic, as well as Southeast Asia. Unlike other species of clams, blood clams contain hemoglobin, the stuff we have in our blood. Because of this, eating the clam becomes a gruesome task. Once you crack open its shell, it oozes blood all over whoever found it. Oh my god, you're covered in blood! What happened? Because of the hemoglobin, the clams are also susceptible to these same blood diseases as humans, including hepatitis A, typhoid, and dysentery. But the issue is that it's hard to find a safe environment to raise the clams. In the United States, blood clams from China are banned. This is because the clams are raised in the Xijing River as well as in the Chujiang province, both notorious for their levels of pollution making them unsafe for consumption. However, when raised properly, these clams are known for their delicious taste, and those from the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic are generally considered to be safe. If she offers you food, it's safe to take it. Stick around, leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and tap or click on another great video.